Hi guys, welcome back to Crawford Farms Entertainment. Today we have an exciting matchup for you. A relative newcomer to our channel, Inuasha, will take on me, Krillin, the multiversal champion. We will duke it out for an opportunity to take on Naruto in the next video. Who will come out on top? Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you won't miss any of our anime content. Okay, I'm gonna shut up right now so we can get it crack a you guys already know me, so let's take a quick look at our competition and I'll give you a brief overview of my life and accomplishments as well. Deep in the realm of art and imagination, a legendary tale of a unique character named Inuasha unfolds. This intriguing character hails from a widely acclaimed manga and anime series sharing the same name. An artistic brainchild born from the creative pen lauded by Rumiko Takahashi the series, revered by legions of fans, first graced the pages of Weekly Shonen Sunday from late fall of 1996, reaching its narrative zenith in the summer of 2008. Inuasha, the spellbinding protagonist of this tale, is a Hanyo. Did I say that right? The offspring of an unlikely love between an ordinary human woman, Aizayo, and an extraordinary dog demon, Toga. Okay, why can't these guys just have normal names like Vegeta and Bulma? His birthright is a fusion of two opposing worlds, casting him in a turbulent sea of emotional and physical strife, born from an insurmountable rift between human and demon halves. Sounds like a soap opera to me, but I'm intrigued though. Gifted with remarkable abilities far surpassing the realms of human comprehension, Inuasha boasts superhuman strength and swift agility. His heightened senses and regenerative power set him apart from mortal beings. Yet the most potent symbol of his power is the Tasaga, a magical sword forged from the fang of his father. <laughs> this boy stole his dad's tooth, a weapon of unparalleled power resonating within his grasp. The Tasaga or Tasaga has an unpredictable nature, transforming in Yuasha into a full-fledged demon depending on his emotional state. This metamorphosis brings forth a surge of raw power, but often at an untenable cost, the loss of his personal control over his actions. The tales of his heroics are filled with staggering feats, from single-handedly staving off hordes of adversaries to defeating powerful demons, his name echoes in the annals of victory. <laughs> His breathtaking speed surpasses the fastest beings in his universe, while his resilience in the face of grievous injuries, mortal to most, make him a legend in his own right as a character as fascinating as the narrative of his life. As for me, I was once a small round-headed monk at the Oran Temple. I guess you could say I'm defined by my ambition and tenacity ever since I started hanging out with Goku and the crew, I left my monastic lifestyle desiring something more and traveled to train with Master Roshi, a decision that significantly changed my destiny. I was initially antagonistic towards Goku. I couldn't stand that boy, but we became the epitome of friends. The rigid, selfish boy that I was transformed into one of the greatest friends that he could have ever asked for. Our camaraderie and friendship helped develop me into the man that I am today. My power, a human touch by the ethereal. My destructo disc, an energy disc that can cut through just about anything, is a testament to my innovation and tenacity. I grew stronger with each battle. With my potential unlocked on Namek by the Grand Elder Guru, this further enhanced my abilities. My tactics and battle often compensate for my lack of raw power, making me a pretty good ally. My notable feats are many. The first was against the mighty foes in the World Martial Arts Tournament, where I proved that courage could compete against innate strength. But my true showcases of power were in high stakes battles against galactic threats. My fight against the Cybermen and my role in the showdown with Frieza, buying vital time for the Spirit Bomb, stand as towering testaments to my strength and utility. Even in death, several times over, shaped me. It honed my bravery, rekindled my determination, and allowed me to protect those I cherished. Amid gods and aliens, I stood tall as neither the physical or the emotional traumas 
shattered my spirit. I'm a small monk, but I had grown, developed, died and revived to become an ideal blend of power and humanity in a universe teeming with super beings. I underwent remarkable growth, not just in strength, but in character, a true unsung hero of the Dragon Ball storyline. So you're probably wondering why I'm fighting this guy anyway. Well, after I beat Superman in the multiversal uh, martial arts tournament, things were going great. Not only did I get the prize money, but I got a crazy number of endorsements. Man, I was even getting video game deals uh, and more than just one or two. I was a little worried that Superman might come and try and get me, but I stocked up on those little green rocks. Just in case, I actually feel bad for the guy. He has some real debilitating weaknesses. Anyway, like I said, things were going great until all of these knuckleheads came out of the woodworks wanting to fight me, wanting a piece of old Grandmaster K. Oh, oh, did I mention people started calling me that, right? Grandmaster K, how crazy is that? You started calling yourself that. Shut up, Goten. Anyway, this kitty cat guy called me up. He's a dog. Goten, I'm not telling you again. Shut up, man. I'm trying to do an interview. So this guy calls me up, says he wants a shot at the champ. I really wanted to be done with this whole fighting thing, but I accidentally answered on speakerphone and 18 was within earshot, so I had to play it tough. Hello? May I speak to Krillin? Yeah, what's up, man? Hi, my name is Ing Nwasha, and I would love to challenge you to an exhibition. A smart man would have said, nah, I'm good, but I have a friend that loves to fight. I should have passed this battle along. Something happens to a man when he goes full-blown middle-aged dad. So Goku is the exception because he isn't human, right? But for us regular folks, our knees and backs are the first thing to go. And I could tell mine were on their last leg. <laughs> I just got that and I wasn't even planning on making a joke. You see that? That was a dad joke. I've been making those more and more lately, which means I should have already retired from active competition. Like I said, I should have passed up the battle but even as a bald middle-aged dude struggling to hold off on his dad bod, I still act right foolish over females, especially Android 18, my beloved wife. I knew she was too good for me from the very start. So I was always looking for ways to impress her. And this was my chance. So I said, yeah, man, I'll fight you. I haven't announced it yet, but I'm going on a butt kicking tour all around the multiverse. And Yuasha sounded way too cheerful. Great. Let's make a tournament of it. I have a bunch of guys who will put that cape wearing dude that you beat earlier to shame. So it was at about that point that I realized that I had messed up. So here I am in another tournament. My first round was against Inuasha. Now this guy wasn't bad for the most part. He was keeping up with me, but he was pretty weak. He couldn't even hurt me. I thought to myself, this is my chance to really impress 18. So I started toying with him, dancing around and showed him. He threw a punch and I dodged it. And I did the dreaded I got your nose technique. He lunged at me and I dodged and stuck my foot out. Then he tripped over it. As he was going to the ground, I smacked him on his butt. Android 18 seemed impressed. And she was just a laughing and clapping. I was being a real jerk. To make matters worse, I gave him a gut punch. When he doubled over, I fought it in his face. And it wasn't just regular gas. I think I might have messed myself. It was a bad one, and I felt bad. I planned to put him out of his misery, so I fired a one-handed key blast at him, hoping to just knock him off the stage. Fired it, and to my surprise, he countered with some kind of a whirlwind thing that turned my key blast back at me and almost knocked me off the stage. But it also tore through my gi bottoms, exposing the fact that I actually did leave a skid mark in my undies. I was so embarrassed. I then got angry and then kicked him square in his teeth and was about to knock him off the stage. It looked like he was falling off the stage, but then somebody threw him a sword and he stopped mid air and then turns into this hideous slobbing brute of a beast. Now what in the world was going on? Now what happened next? I have to say I did deserve it. The guy jumped at me like a rabbit squirrel and started pummeling me. But not like with his fist, he started biting and scratching and spanking me with his sword. Uh, it was like being attacked by a giant raccoon. And it was starting to hurt. 
I was bleeding pretty bad. I threw a destructo disc at him and the dude caught it in his mouth like a frisbee. What was I supposed to do? I had seriously underestimated this guy. He was way more powerful than I was expecting. I had an idea and it was the only thing I could think of and it had to work. So I fired up another destructo disc and I said, hey boy, you like this disc? He sat down and started panting with his tongue out. <laughs> Sounded like a, like a real dog. I said, here, fetch. And, and I threw the disc right out of bounds and the beast happily followed. I had won the battle, but I was badly in need of a sensu bean. My goodness, was this a bad idea? Who in the world would I face next? And it was too late to forfeit because Android 18 was looking right at me. Two men in a one man leads to one to win to one defeat. Gotta go hard, no retreat. Who's the best? It's time to see. Two men in a one man lead to one to win to one defeat. Gotta go hard, no retreat. Who's the best? It's time to see. Main holla at your boy. Feeling with a K. Villains I will slay. 18. That's my babe. Keep seeking. Disrupt those discs. Your boy really can't miss. Champion of the multiverse. Talking smack. I hit you where it hurts. I'm the best because I put in the word. King that hit. Now on the joy. Now you on the ground. Because I said, sit, boy. You kitty man. Hello, kitty. You too slow, you can't even hit me. I'm too fast, I left y'all busy. Two men in a one man leaves to one to win, to one defeat. Gotta go hard, no retreat. Who's the best? It's time to see. Two men in a one man leaves to one to win, to one defeat. Gotta go hard, no retreat. Who's the best? It's time with a cave. About to take a L, this fame blade. Mike, sing you straight to. Oh, well, I'ma do your worst. That freezer did. Send you to Ohio and raise your kid. And take 18 for a spin. In my drop top bins. In your wash up for the win. You talk too much. That's your sin. Send your ball head to your next kin. I'm a mortal. Ooh, I can't be beat. Shut Two your mouth in tasty feet. Two men in a one man leaves to one to win to one defeat. Gotta go hard, no retreat. Who's the best? It's time to see. Two men in a one man leaves to one to win to one defeat. Gotta go hard, no retreat. Who's the best? It's time to see. Whoa, bruh, what you mean, Kagome's like 50? Team, man, you should be in jail. You mangy muck with no tail. Look, Scooby, do you bow to leaves in your Hillary Clinton pantsuit? Barefoot, cause shoes you can't afford. Looking like a bro, mean y'all with a sword. You about to make me rich. Hey, if your dad's a dog, does that make you my. Whoa, don't even go there. Don't sit there, you know. Don't even say it, girl. Two men in a one man leaves to one to win to one defeat. Gotta go hard, no retreat. Who's the best? It's time to see. Two men in a one man leaves to one to win to one defeat. Gotta go hard, no retreat. Who's the best? It's time to see.